Welcome to the demonstration about installing NetApp ActiveIQ Config Advisor on Windows. Hereafter referred to as Config Advisor. Besides installing Config Advisor on Windows, alternatively you can install on Mac and Linux host. Before you begin the Config Advisor installation, you should be familiar with the operating systems and browsers that are supported by Config Advisor. To download Config Advisor, go to mysupport.netapp.com. To install, double click the downloaded Config Advisor exe file. Click Next. If you agree to the Config Advisor license agreement, click I agree. Click Next. You can change the default destination folder for installing Config Advisor. In this demonstration, the default path has been retained. Click Next. You can choose a parent folder for storing Config Advisor data. You can change the default folder to either a shared drive, folder or a drive of your choice. In this demonstration, the default path has been retained. Click Next. You have an option to decide whether you want to install Config Advisor in a secure setting. If yes, Auto Support and User Profile details are disabled. Select Yes or No and click Next. You can enable the HTTPS and User Management settings. Selecting Yes for User Management changes the back-end web server to a more production-based web server called Nginx. You can use the Nginx configuration to set up secure communication over the computer network using the HTTPS protocol. Multi-user support for up to 10 accounts is supported. Users other than the administrator view only their individual data and see the analysis of the data they have collected. If you select No, you will not be asked to enter the credentials. Select Yes or No and click Install. Config Advisor has been installed successfully. Click Finish. To set an administrator password, enter your password. Confirm the password and enter the email address and click Submit. Now enter your password and click Submit. Upon successful authentication, the Config Advisor dashboard is displayed. The Basic Settings dialog box is also displayed. You can configure the SMTP server settings to send notification for scheduled jobs, enable or disable Active IQ One Collect Data Collection options and Telnet. You can also enable encryption settings and then click Save. 